got a shotgun. We're gonna have to take him out. You ready? Put your, put your hands up. Put your hands right you. Back-to-back officer-involved shootings in Phoenix, just one day apart. Both shootings caught on body cam. Put your hands up. Put your hands right you. The first happened on January 11th when a welfare call came in to Phoenix PD. A woman reported her mother's neighbor hadn't been seen in days and his home was flooding. Phoenix Police, this is how can I help you? Um, hi, um, one of my mom's neighbors, um, she, she hasn't seen him for a week and then there's water running out of their house and it's like flooding and she tried to like go knock and everything to see um, if they're okay but nobody's answering the door. Body camera video shows two officers arrive on the scene and approach the door. You can see water trickling down in the background and hear the rush of flooding. Two officers call out, making their presence known. Phoenix Police Department, anybody inside? I don't smell anything. Just want cigarettes. The first officer calls out again, and this time the homeowner answers. Phoenix Police Department. Yeah. Oh, hello. How you, How you doing? doing? Huh? We got a call because the water was like they thought somebody they hadn't seen the. I'm taking off, I'm irrigating here. What's that? I'm irrigating. That's more than irrigating, the house is leaking. Like it's coming, it looks like it's coming out from underneath the house and then it's leaking back here. I got it, I, I, I'm working on it. The officer then asks the homeowner to show his hands. Do a fair, I can't see your hands or anything like that. Can I see your other hand? Because uh, I'm doing check welfare. The officer asks again, but this time the man draws a gun. Put your hands up. Put your hands right you. The homeowner and a second officer then exchange gunfire. This body camera video shows the entire situation from another angle, the perspective of the officer who would later fire off his weapon. Here's the moment leading up to the shooting from the other officer's viewpoint. Video also captures the officer scrambling a bit after the shooting. Additional officers eventually arrived on the scene where they found the homeowner dead inside. Officials also recovered a handgun on the scene and noted that the man fired multiple rounds at the responding officers. High speed chases. Ticks. We got a ticks. Unruly suspects. I will kill that mother. Excuse me? No. Do it. Stay in the I blue like box. It. I like it, Kinky. Dramatic DUIs. I'm a passer. Okay, that's what you're trying to do. And shocking body cam footage. Hey, get on the ground! Get on the ground! Law and Crime presents Body Cam, the place for real, raw, and wild police videos. You should have seen it. It was good. It's on body camera. I'll show it to you. Catch the action and subscribe to our new YouTube channel now. The very next day, another officer involved shooting in the city. Phoenix officers responded to a call on January 12th for a domestic violence emergency. Here's a clip of the 911 call. So what's he doing? Um, right now he's banging on the he's banging on the door. Okay. Uh, with so, a knife. So with a knife? Yeah. Okay. Does anybody live in this apartment? Do you know? Yes. Yes. Uh, they had a, a domestic violence about a week ago. When officers arrived to the apartment building where the incident happened, the suspect was gone. Nearby, they caught up with a suspect who refused to stop when they called out. Stop right there!
While trying to get the man to stop walking, officers used less lethal options, including pepper balls and 40 millimeter foam balls. Both were shot toward the suspect as a way to slow him down, but he didn't stop. Yeah. He still lost his way. Get on the ground! Get on it. All this continues as an officer fires more pepper balls at the suspect, but he still doesn't slow down. During this time, security video captures the suspect on cam, pointing a gun at officers. Meanwhile, a lieutenant arrives on the scene. This body camera video shows his perspective. Copy, Shelby, running one time. He just 2.45, he's pointing the gun at me. Copy, 2.45, he's pointing the gun at you. I'm trying to get these people. I'm trying to get these people. Copy, he's As the video shows, he grabs a shotgun from the back seat of his squad. The lieutenant asks other officers on the scene to confirm who the suspect is before opening fire. Is that him running in the pee? Goal 77, is that him? This video shows the moments after he fired the shot. Move! Moments after the lieutenant fired a shot at the suspect, a separate officer who had previously fired off the foam balls ran his vehicle into the suspect. He's trying to head back to the victim apartment. Dude, just stop. He's got a shotgun. We're gonna have to take him out. You ready? Make sure you're red. I'm on. Watch the civilians. He's reloading too. Got him. After the shooting, the suspect was taken to the hospital to be treated for severe injuries. Investigators later determined the gun he had was actually a pellet gun made to look like a semi-automatic. They also determined this suspect was not the man involved in the domestic violence situation earlier. That guy was tracked down though and he was also booked. Both of these officer-involved shootings are now under investigation and will be sent to the Maricopa County Attorney's Office for review once they're complete. Reporting for Law and Crime, I'm Sierra Gillespie.